Hey everyone, it's Mark Skipper Mark. So Matt has decided to paint his truck. Um, he was debating whether to have it done somewhere or do it himself. So he's gonna do it himself. He's never really painted anything this big before, but um, he's gonna give it a go. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a message in the comments and we'll be glad to answer them. We're not sure how it's gonna turn out. Can't really turn out any worse than it already was. Half pink, half red. So we'll see how it turns out. If it's terrible, he could always have it painted somewhere, but uh, he's probably gonna be okay with it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. So this is Matt's truck before he painted it. And this is the truck after. The first thing Matt's doing is washing the truck to make sure the body is really clean. Our driveway is not in great shape, but Matt wanted to put down a tarp to make sure no paint got on it. The truck doesn't fit in the garage, so we bought a tent from Harbor Freight. I made a review to it and we'll link to it up above. Like one of the buckets. Nancy and I went out to dinner, and when we got back, Matt had taken all the trim off the truck. That's 37 years of dirt and dust under the rain gutter. Matt's going to start with a 40 grit sandpaper and then move up to something like 400 to 1,000. It's done, man. Mm -hmm. I'm getting excited to see. <laughs> the first layer of paint seemed to come off really easy. But then it just kind of came to a standstill and it didn't seem to want to come off at all. We ended up getting something called aircraft remover, which is basically just a paint stripper. You put it on and it makes the paint bubble and then you scrape it off with a metal blade. It has a lot of warnings, so be sure to follow the directions. Also use a metal bucket because it can eat through plastic. This is what the paint looks like when the aircraft remover is working well. It literally just scrapes off super easy. I'm not sure why, but sometimes the paint remover didn't work very well. It would bubble up, but the paint just wouldn't scrape off. We ended up wiping out the local stores of the aircraft remover. And so we got one from Home Depot to try, but it worked horribly. And then we got one from Walmart and it didn't work very well either. Thankfully, the local auto parts stores got more in and we have enough and should be good to finish the truck. The passenger front quarter panel was in bad shape. So Matt bought one off the internet and set up a little painting room on our porch and painted that up there. The truck actually came with two gas tanks from the factory and for whatever reason someone had taken one out, welded the gas uh, lid shut and then bonded over it with like, you know, a quarter inch of bondo to, to smooth it out. Plus the paint was really thick in some areas. Matt thought about having the truck professionally painted, but it was pretty expensive, so he decided to just do it himself. He did use spray cans, which doesn't come out as nice as a spray gun, but, you know, it did what he wanted. It's all one color, and it looks pretty good. Looking back, Matt says if he was to do it again, he would do it totally different. He would just lightly sand it, fill any scratches that were in the surface of the paint, and then just paint that. He said by bringing it down to the bare metal, it revealed all the dents and little imperfections in it that had been filled. And he's a great mechanic, but he doesn't really do body work and wasn't able to get it perfectly smooth. Hurricane Henri was about yeah, to come through town the, uh, and we knew it would get really damp in the truck. tent. So Matt put WD-40 all over the truck body to keep it from rusting. Uh, I gotta do the, the, a little bit on the bed. Okay. And then the roof. Before painting, Matt wiped the entire truck down multiple times with alcohol to get rid of any oil or dust or anything else that could be on it. I didn't have any kind of respirator or anything like that. Plus, I didn't want my phone to get 
painted, so I wasn't able to go in, unfortunately, and get any pictures of him actually doing the painting. Okay, so the truck is primed, and it's kind of hard to see because the tent area is really small, but it looks pretty good. I think it'd be kind of cool to drive around this way and just keep it gray, um, but Matt doesn't want to. He wants to go and paint it red, so uh, that's going to be the next step. Because our driveway is kind of weird in the back, there's not enough room to drive the truck out of the tent, so we're going to disassemble the tent around the truck. The last step was to put on the quarter panel and then take it for a spin. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. My advice is if you're going to paint something yourself, try to know what the body is like underneath first. As always, thank you again for watching. Really appreciate everybody. Hope everyone has a great day. Thanks so much. Take care.